Muhammad Fawaimi, eldest son of late Chief Ghani Fawaimi, died of complications from COVID-19 infection. The younger brother of the deceased, Mr. Saeed Fawaimi, who spoke on behalf of the family, disclosed these at a news briefing at his residence in Lagos. He said the family could not immediately disclose the cause of death because they wanted the information to be based on factual medical details. He urged Nigerians to adhere to the COVID-19 prevention guidelines, including taking the required doses of COVID-19 vaccine. Mohammed died at about 9 a.m. on Wednesday, August 11, after a brief illness at the age of 52. One of the cardinal points of this press conference is to let every Nigerian know that they have to get vaccinated. They have to get vaccinated. There are a lot of conspiracy theories out there, but I think it's better to err on the part of caution than to err on the part of neglect or regret. If my brother had taken that vaccine, he probably would have saved his life. Yeah. So, if, you, if mistakes have been made, you want to make sure others don't make that mistake. We urge the federal government of Nigeria to step up its, base, its public enlightenment on the deadly character of the disease that many more Nigerians, especially those whose immune systems could easily be compromised because of underlying illness can take safety measures enumerated above. In line with our late brother's consistent advocacy, we call on the federal and state governments to invest more in health care. In particular, we urge the government to do all that is necessary to end the ongoing strike of members of the National Association of Resident Doctors. The family also disclosed that a night of tribute and songs would hold on Wednesday, August 25th at the Archbishop Vining Cathedral in Ikeja at 4 p.m. The interment would hold on Friday, August 27th at the Ghani Fawaimi family compound in Ondo State. It was uh, a very, very kind-hearted man and he was also a man of courage because he never allowed his uh, condition like uh, the brother said, he was confined to Wisha uh, after his accident in 2003. But anybody who encountered him would never see any element of uh, regret in him. And in spite of that condition, he identified with uh, the comrades and associates, and more importantly, the, the struggles of Nigerian people. We are here, not really to mourn Mohammed, but to celebrate him and to internalize him. Because I, as his elder brother and friend, I wasn't too comfortable seeing my brother in the condition that he was. Not being a brilliant man you all knew, doing things for himself. Because the Ghanifa I mean scholarship. In which I'm also a member of the scholarship board. He knew the role Mohammed has played. He made sure not only that scholarship was increased from 10, but the scholarship was increased also to 20. So that is the kind of thing that Mohammed represents. So the testimony here is a testimony of a comrade who struggled with us, not just as a member of a family, but who struggled with us because of his conviction, because of his own belief. Late Mohammed Fawaimi had a law degree from the University of Buckingham, England, and was called to bar in 1998. In 2003, he was involved in a sole auto crash in Lagos, which affected his spinal cord and confined him to the wheelchair.